Greetings and welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. How's everybody doing? All you awesome gamer hounds. Uh, today we have another lovely deck trick. Uh, this one is actually borrowed from another player in my Casual Nights play group. Uh, he loaned it to me for a couple of days to record and show off some of its greatness. Um, I will say some of the cards in here are proxied while he's kind of getting them together, play testing them, and everything else. But um, you guys will probably enjoy this one. It's a it's a very high end deck. Um, it's got some really awesome capabilities. A lot of uh, big punch, a lot of uh, stompiness to it. So you guys will probably get a large kick out of that one. Uh, but so yeah. We're going to get to that one. Uh, other than that, if you do love these deck techs and want to see more or have suggestions or ideas or anything else, um, got suggestions for the deck, you like something you saw on the deck, anything, throw me some comments below. Love to hear from you all. Love to converse and interact with everybody that puts up messages uh, for one. And then also, if you do like these, please do like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when we do more of these. Uh, and, uh, yeah, with no further ado, we're going to get to <clears throat> Jetmere is today's deck tech topic. So, yeah, we're going to get to this one. This is a very interesting deck. Like I said, uh, it's, uh, a lot of high end, not high end, but a lot of, uh, legendary creatures. Um, so you guys will see a lot of spiciness there. Uh, it's got a lot of big punch to it, a lot of uh, uh, token generation, and some really cool abilities in here. So I figured, why not show off some of my buddies' decks so you guys can uh, get a look at those. Yeah, so Jetmir is one red, green, white, and he is a legendary cat demon, 5-4. Uh, and then he has creatures you control get plus one, plus O, oh, and have vigilance as long as you control three or more creatures. Creatures you control get plus one, plus O, oh, and have trample as long as you have six or more creatures. And creatures you control also get plus one, plus O, oh, and have double strike as long as you control nine or more creatures. So, very spicy. Very spicy. And not a high cast cost, so very nice on that end as well. So, yes, let's uh, get to, first off, we have two basic planes, very, very basic. Next, we have two basic forests, the most basic of the forests. All right, uh, there are no basic mountains in this deck. But we do have 27 unique lands in this deck. So, yes. All right. So we've got Marsh Flats, Minas Tirith, Horizon Canopy, Verdant Catacombs, Wind Swept Heath, Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. Sacred Foundry, Bountiful Promenade, Arid Mesa, Brushland, Temple Garden, Stomping Ground, Wooded Foothills, Sunbaked Canyon, Misty Rainforest, City of Brass, Gemstone Caverns, Flooded Strand, Spire Garden, all right, Spire Garden, Jetmere's Garden, Command Tower, Plaza of Heroes, Mana Confluence, Beseju Who Endures, Spectator Seating, Handweir Battlements, and Scalding Tarn to top it off there. So there we go. All right. That does it for the unique lands. Next we have artifacts, which we only have two. So we have Horn of the Mark, 
and Hammer of Perforos for all that good old hasty goodness. So, there we go. Enchantments, we have, let me see, five enchantments, five. So we have the ever incredible Sylvan Library, Chivalric Alliance, Legion's Landing, Flowering of the White Tree, and Takasia's Welcome. So there we go. Very nice, very nice. All right, next up is Sorceries, which we only have two. So we have Finale of Devastation and Green Sun's Zenith. So not too shabby there. Uh, the next item on the list, Instance. All right, so for Instance, we have eight instant spells. All right, let's do that. There we go. Um, eight instant spells. So we have Scapegoat, Swords to Plowshares, Path of Path to Exile. Oh, oh, there we go. Path to Exile, Surge of Salvation, Court of Calling. Come on. There we go. All right, uh, Aladamir, Aladami, Aladamri, Aladamri's, Eladamri's call. Yeah, getting tongue tied over here, chaos. Uh, clever concealment and worldly tutor. Very nice, very nice. All right, now we got the meat, potatoes the milk, the drinks, we got the bulk of this one. So this one's going to be coming in with 50 creatures in this big boy. All right, here we go. Shanna Sisse's Legacy. Uh, Teshar's Ancestor's Apostle. Delighted Halfling. General Feroz Rokiric. Muriel, Muriel, Shield of Argive. Sagarda, Font of Blessings. Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer. Joel Rial, Muanvuli, Muanvuli Recluse? Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, people. I don't mind it. Uh, Ardo's Cobbler of War. Catilda, Dawnheart Prime. Peregrine Took. Edelin, Resplendent Cathar. Vermaz, King of Orescos. Esper Sentinel. Linvala, Keeper of Silence. Frodo Baggins. Birds of Paradise. Squee, Dubious Monarch. Krinko, one of my homies. Ten Street Kingpin, lovely. Uh, Karizev, Skyship Raider. Skrilev, Defector Might. Runetail, Kitsune Ascendant. Which also turns into Runetail's Essence as an enchantment. Uh, Hanweir Garrison. Rocco, Street Chef. Rata, Heart of Keld. Dryder Arbor. Dasan, The Falling Leaf. Mary, Esquire of Rohan. Taddeus Juniper Ascendant. Pia Nalar, Consul of Revival. Baird, Argivian Recruiter. Uh, Avacyn's Pilgrim. Finhorn Elves. Samut, Vizier of Nan Naktamun. Uh, Kadira, Caller of the Small. Laran of the Third Path. Elvish Mystic. Boromir, Warden of the Tower. Erwin, Weaver of Hope. Uh, Anafenza, Kin Tree Spirit. Torin's Fist of Angels. Fist of the Angels. Samwise Gamgee. Lenawar Elves. 
Legion Loyalist, Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, King Darian, the, what is that, 68th? Somebody figure that out for me. We got XLVIII. So I know that's got to be 8th. But L is 50? And then X is 10. So is that 60 then? 68th? I don't know. Someone figure that out. Someone figure that out and throw it my way. Uh, Dexos, blessed by the sun. Winota, joiner, uh, joiner of forces. Hajar, loyal bodyguard. And last but not least, Yoshimaru, Yoshimaru ever faithful. Yep, went too high there. Yoshimaru, ever faithful. So, 50 creatures there, and just to top it off, we have one Planeswalker in this deck, and that is Gideon Blackblade. So just one Planeswalker to go along with the rest of this. So, very much a spicy deck, uh, very offensive, very much uh, aggro, decently low to the ground with mana cost and the way that it builds up and a lot of tokens, a lot of buff for the tokens, um, especially with the commander dropped into play, um, a lot of punch to it. So, yeah, not bad at all. I've seen it play. This was a casual deck that he turned into a competitive deck. I believe he has ran it a few times at the local game shop and won several games with it. Um, so, yeah, very nice deck, very fun. Uh, hope everybody liked the deck tech there. Again, this is one borrowed from a friend of mine in our Casual Nights uh, gaming group. So, um, yes, very fun, very interesting. Uh, if you guys liked it, awesome. Please do like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notified when we do more of these. Or if you have suggestions, something you saw that you liked, anything, throw me some comments below. Love to hear from you all. Love to converse and chit-chat and talk about all the lovely gaming things that we love to do on this channel so yeah there you go that is jetmere nexus of revels there you go all right you guys have a happy safe and fun week and i will catch you all on the flip side take it easy see you in the next video later